What's going on cool cats? Carol Baskin here with another impeccable fishing adventure. Today we're headed out the riverfront boat launch per usual and we're gonna target those coho again. Uh, sun is shining, water clarity is excellent out there so I'm thinking we should be able to get some coho to bite here. All right we've got the drone up. Can you guys see here how in the Milwaukee Harbor the water is super dirty? And then right when you get outside the main gap, it starts to clear up. And then once you even get a little bit further out into the main lake, it clears way up. You got that dark, deep blue, it gets a little deeper out there as well. That's kind of the water we want to get into. Um, the fish can find your bait a lot easier. Not that they can't find it in the dirty water or the kind of murky water, but it's just easier from the, for them to see it. They can see it from a further distance away. Um, so we're going to start right here in the main gap, kind of halfway out in the harbor here in the dirty water. And we're going to troll right through that gap into the murky water and out into that clear blue water. And uh, see kind of where we get bit, where we're marking the fish. And um, that'll kind of determine where we're going to be fishing the rest of the day. So let's get our lines down and we'll start fishing here. All right, we're going to use the same setup as last time. First one going down is the copper spoon. Next one we got going down is the orange Dodger fly combo with the teal or the turquoise fly. And last but not least, we're gonna send one more orange Dodger fly combo down there. shaker on it didn't even pop the dipsy so I'm gonna pop the dipsy now there we go now we'll reel him in just a little guy Ugh. all right I don't know if that's a rainbow or a coho it looks like a coho to me we got him on that teal peanut fly I don't I think this might be a rainbow. It's nice blue. I'm not sure. Let me know in the comment section what this is, guys. Help me with my fish identification. I'm not very good at it. Here's our first coho. Just a little guy. But we're gonna keep him. He'll be a perfect smoker. Won't taste fishy yet because he's not very big. Let's get him on the stringer. We're marking bait down there, we're marking fish down there, we got current here, we got different types of water. This is looking like a good spot right here in the main gap. Alright, let's check our lines real quick here. Dang it, we did have a shake around this whole entire time. Something was going on with that one, that's why I checked it first. 
All right guys, we've had the shaker on the entire time, probably for the last 30 minutes, but these little guys are good smoking, so I'm pretty happy about this actually. There it is. Put this guy on the stringer, we'll smoke him up later. This is a coho for sure. You can tell by how, it, how short its head shakes are. We finally got a decent coho on here. And it got off. That's the thing, that's the tricky thing about coho, is they shake their head so much, they can get off real easily. And these little peanut flies don't have the best hooks on them. That sucks, hopefully we hook up with another one. Maybe they'll start to bite now. Oh, I was messing around with the GoPro for too long on that one. That's the thing about the coho is you kind of want to get them up and just pull them in quick. Otherwise they'll spit the hook. That was the first one I've had on all year, a big one anyways. And uh, I should have known better. I should have known better. I was messing around too much with my GoPro, letting it take way too long. Next time I'm cranking that bad boy right in. All right guys, quick evening update for you. We've been trolling for a couple hours, no bites. Um, I don't know, the wind kind of died down and I think the fish kind of went with it. So I'm hoping that when sun, the sun starts to set here, the fish get a little bit more active and start to bite again. So we're gonna make a few more passes up and down the break wall here. See if we can't get some more coho for the smoker. We'll see you guys if, once we've got a fish on. All right, serious question here. What speed do you guys troll for coho outside of the break wall in the Milwaukee Harbor here? Um, I've been trolling anywhere from 1.6 all the way up to 2.5. It's hard to keep my speed uh, steady with these waves here today, but I don't know. I, I kind of like 2.3, 2.2 is a sweet spot. So um, let me know what you guys troll at. Just trying to get an idea of kind of what the general, the average for coho is here. All right, we have flicker shads and flicker minnows. Flicker shads just have a little bit larger profile than the minnows. So we're gonna go with the flicker shads tonight. One more minute and we're out of here. Ding, 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 ding. Minutes up, minutes up. I was just calling it quits too. This was my last line. I was just about to take out the water. He's coming in fast. Uh oh, uh oh. Oh no. Oh no, I've got the peanut fly stuck in my net. I'm never gonna net this thing. Oh, here we go, here we go. Is that a brown trout? I think we got a brownie. Oh. Oh. Holy smokes, folks. We got a little mat, oh, oh boy. Oh, we've got quite the mess going on here. I think we got a brown trout here. Not our target species since we uh, switched over to the uh, crankbaits here. But hey, 
I was literally reeling in all of my lines because I was calling it quits and that brown trout just smoked it. That is an amazing way to end this trip. Alright buddy, this is not good. We got a big old brownie in the net, all the hooks are tangled. Let's try to get him in the boat, get him unhooked and let him go. Then we'll worry about our hooks in a minute here. Okay, just relax, just relax. Just relax. That's a nice brown trout. That's a gorgeous brown trout. Okay, got him unhooked. Uh, we'll get a real quick look at this guy. Holy smoke, folks. All right, well that is one amazing way to end the night. I was just reeling up my final line and uh, this beautiful brown trout just smoked my crankbait. So let's see, that makes five today. So we went two for five, um, four cohos, one brown trout, and the coho were a little bit small, but um, those are perfect size for the smoker. And that's really what I wanted to do here. So I can make some of that coho candy I was talking about. Anyways, let's get this fish back in the water and then we'll wrap this show up here. There you go. See ya. Yeah. All right, guys. And with that, we are gonna call it a night. You know, the fish that we caught weren't gigantic, but you know, sometimes it's not all about your catch. It's about the adventure, just being out here, getting off the couch, coming out here. It is an amazing, gorgeous night out tonight. There's barely any wind. The water is crystal clear, blue. We've got a beautiful sunset behind us. Let me show you guys what we're looking at here. Just beautiful sunset. We got downtown Milwaukee, the skyline here. So I just can't complain with that. If you did like this video, please hit that like button. It really helps. You guys have been doing an excellent job lately. And if you're new to this channel and wanna go on more adventures, smash that subscribe button and we'll see you next time. Peace.